Hey folks, Charlotte for Halt.com, and today I have got a total body five-minute workout for you. You have no time, no dumbbells, no equipment, no problem. Do this workout. It's amazing for both mind and body. So I'm going to give you five exercises, each for one minute each. Now you can do variations of that, 45 seconds on, 15 off, 50 and 10, or you could do all 60 seconds with no breaks. But this is a great five-minute workout, again, to wake up both mind and body. So here we go, five exercises. Exercise number one is going to be a very basic. We're going to start with a march, which you can make into a variation, a jog in place. So march, jog in place, and then do any of the variations. I want to run side to side, make it a little bit more of a suicide drill. I could play with speed. Make sure you're getting those arms in there. I could get high knees, any variation of marching or jogging in place. That's your first exercise, and that's going to get the heart rate up. So exercise number two, now we're going to work upper body and core with a push-up to side plank. So here we go. And pace yourself on this one. We're going to do a push-up to a side plank. And you want to pace yourself on this one. So variations, you can do obviously a push-up on your knees and even stay side plank on the knees. You could keep one knee down and do this type of side plank, lift up this way. You could play variations with your foot positioning and the base, the wider the base, the more support you have. The more narrow the base, the less support you have. So again, it's going to be a push-up to side plank and make sure you alternate sides. And I'm a little out of breath already. That's exercise number two. So we have gotten our heart. We've got our upper body, a little bit of core. Let's get lower body and we're going to keep it basic. We're going to do a basic squat in any variation of the squat. So for me personally, now you can play with foot position. I like my feet a little bit wider. Toes pointed out, feels a little bit better on my hips. But again, any variation that you could do here, make sure you have your weight in your heels, make sure you hinge at the hips. As a cue, keep that chest up, not to arch your back, but just to keep proper alignment and squeeze on the way up. So variations of the squat, you could do a walking squat. I like to do these as well. You could do a squat with a jump. Jump side to side even, <laughs> base yourself on that one. If you have any knee issues, just do a quarter squat or a half squat, be careful on that. Just make sure you're squeezing on the way up. That takes care of our lower body. That's exercise number three. The fourth one now, heart, upper body, core. We've got lower body, let's get the back. This is one of my favorite exercises. This is the reverse plank. This gets the entire back of your body from your heels to your shoulders. So all I do, is lift up and I'm working the entire back of my body here. Now as a variation, I might wanna dip a little bit and bring it up, but everything that you're doing here is working from the heels to the shoulders. You do wanna make sure your posture is okay. We're not letting our shoulders uh, get to our ears here. So make sure the shoulders stay up, make sure your hips stay up. And if you wanna dip, just make sure you're squeezing on the way up there. And that is the reverse plank. That's the fourth exercise. Now let's get a little bit more core. While we're down here already, fifth exercise, final one, any variation of the crunch. So we could do anything from a quarter crunch to a full crunch. What I like to do, go down vertebrae one at a time, come up, get the obliques, and go side to side. And any variation of the crunch is your final and fifth exercise in your five minute workout. So if you are pressed for time, but you wanna get something in, this is not something I recommend doing every day, but when you're pressed for time, just to get something in to work the mind and body. It will do amazing things for your mind especially, but it's so good for you. Do this five minute workout. So this is Cheryl, Living for Health. Thanks so much for watching.